Temu now ranks as the world's number two e-commerce site. So, so is it Temu or Timu? I, I always, always say Temu. I don't know. I, I say Temu and Shen. Some I people say Shine Timu. I don't know. All right, let, let us know in the comments, guys, what you guys think. Temu or Timu? I'm, I'm going Team Timu. Timu, you think? Yeah. Right. Team Timu. Well, I'm going right, with Temu. To... We'll see. Uh, kind of like, right. we'll you know, like an emu. You know, you got emus or Temu. I don't know. But in any case, Temu has quickly risen to become the world's second most visited e-commerce site, surpassing eBay in highlighting its rapid expansion strategy that could reshape competitive dynamics for Amazon sellers. The platform's massive traffic, largely driven by paid ads, which is an important point. Dude, illustrate I've been getting so many paid ads on my mobile phone, right? Like I've been playing some non-stop. mobile games every single day. Buy this non-stop, thing that yep. normally costs $30 on Amazon. We'll give it to you for $2.99 and China will <laughs> ship it in two days somehow. And it's, you know paid for by the Chinese government. But yeah, yeah, team 100%. Of, for sure, 100% growing and advertising everywhere. Yes, I see their ads everywhere for sure, all the time, super cheap prices and all that. So it's a question of how long they can keep that up. But yeah, um, just well, to finish did the you hear here, about the uh, kind of on that same note, though, did you hear that apparently there's tariffs set to hit Timu and Xi'an? That's yes, big, we big talked about that last week. It's uh, mm-hmm. always surprising when I'm giving a thumbs up to something Joe Biden does. But <laughs> in my opinion, assuming they do it correct, right? That's always the question with the government. They rarely do things correctly. Uh, but in this case, it seems like they're on the right track uh, but, for what they need to do by closing I mean, that tariff loophole. So we'll see. The most terrifying words in the English language. I'm here from seller support and I'm here to help. I mean, the government. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, Ronald Reagan, uh, channeling Ronald Reagan there uh, for the new age. Um, but in any case here, so de- despite Temu's impressive web traffic stats, its actual sales and market impact remains smaller than Amazon's, but it's setting ambitious sales goals that aim to challenge Amazon's dominance in the U.S. and Europe. This growth trajectory suggests that Amazon sellers may need to be prepared for intensified competition and market shifts as Temu continues to expand. So as we mentioned, majority of Temu's growth is due to it spending tens or hundreds of millions of dollars in ads and basically giving away free product, which you can't really keep up in perpetuity. I remember reading a story a while back that said uh, Temu had spent in advertisement or lost in advertisement in two years what amazon had lost in like 10 years growing its business Um, so it's pretty crazy the amount of ads that uh they're putting out there and uh, as stephen pope you said that uh it's just your feed is just full of them so what are your thoughts on this stephen other than the well including the ads but anything else so so first thing i noticed i I just googled it how do you say Timu and, and apparently I'm wrong and Todd is right. So I just want to I want to make sure we get that out there early. It's so Temu, T-E-H Mu. And right. uh, so Todd, Again. you win that one. Um, so my my thoughts are that I think it's a high risk of a flash pan. Uh, I think that it's possible that they're gonna be the next jet, and we're gonna see them mm-hmm. flash pan here for a couple of years and then just to completely disappear. Right? You don't yeah. even see jet on the top 20 let alone maybe even the top 50 at this point. Yeah, jet, 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 jet. No, it's not. They're not even around. And and that's because Walmart bought them, integrated them, and then learned that they couldn't actually integrate anything, and they went away. And Jet had a similar early trajectory of spending a bunch of money on acquiring customers. They had a cool model where the more you ordered, the less your price was, which was, Mm -hmm. in theory, a smart business model. Uh, But here we are not even on the list. And it, and it could be, you know, if Blockbuster had bought Netflix, would Netflix exist today? It's the same question, which is what yeah. Walmart did to Jet. And in this case, we have a Chinese-based company uh, with huge financial backing. Uh, and, and we've, you know, we've been in contact with the director of e-commerce. You know, we, we, we know some of their people. Um, they have an opportunity here, right? And they're already in slot two. So, they're definitely making some waves right now. The question of, of tenure is, is really where I wonder if I can hang my hat, so to speak, 
And, and I don't know if they're going to be in the top 10 two to three years from now. But right now, they are aggressive as heck. What do you think, Kevin? Yeah, I think it's going to be interesting because, you know, yes, that's fascinating that they shot up to number two. But can they stay there, especially with tariffs coming in? Because their entire business model has kind of been this like arbitrage of get cheap goods from China. And don't worry about the fact that you don't have to pay you know, tariffs because of a certain loophole that only goes one way that the Chinese companies were benefiting from for small packages that they were able to kind of uh, take advantage of. Whereas if that truly is going away, like we think it is, mm -hmm. that totally changes the game for them. So now the economics sure. are different. And um, I'm not necessarily someone that watches Saturday Night Live religiously, but I did see the other day a video and it was a Saturday Night Live ad. I don't know how recent it was, but it was basically like uh, making fun of Temu, um, Timu, Temu, whatever it is. I thought it was Timu. I did. I, I really guess. did too, but it's Temu. It's, it's Temu. Oh, so t t t Temu, um, and they didn't call it that by name, but you knew exactly who they were uh, making fun of. And that really what it came down to was that people didn't were willing to look the other way on a lot of problems with it because of the prices being so low. So if the prices are no longer so low, then I think that's going to totally change hurt. the business. Yeah. What it's then? Really hurt. Yeah. Cause I, don't, I think some people it's like, okay, I need this thing. And if I have to wait three weeks for it, but I can save, you know, 60, 70% what I would save on Amazon, then why not? But yeah. if you save 20% from what you buy for something similar on Amazon, but you wait like an extra three weeks, why? Yeah. Might as well use subscribe and save on Amazon at that point. Exactly. Exactly. It, it, yeah. it takes away. And Amazon feels more reputable with the products that are on there. And I don't just say that. I, I'm I bought something on TikTok shop like three years ago and it was a terrible experience and it took three weeks and then like it shows up and I open the package and it just like falls apart in front of me. <laughs> and that was like the pure like definition of Chineseium. Uh, mm -hmm. And so <laughs> Tamu is filled with Chineseium for sure. Uh, and, and some people are willing to take the risk. And with the hyperinflation that we have in the United States, I, I can't blame people for trying to save a buck. I really can't. Yeah. Um, would I use the platform? No, I have not purchased anything on Temu so far. However, I did go to uh, the Ecom North Toronto conference uh, a couple weeks ago. And up in Toronto, I asked random people, I was like, hey, have you bought anything on there? And I was surprised. I ran into a lot of people who had. And so I think that the the anecdotal evidence would suggest that the acquisition model is present, i.e. they're getting people to make a purchase. But yep. the real question then comes, will they come back? Will they have a good mm -hmm. enough experience to be a repeat buyer? And that's where I think the jury is is out. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I mean, if if you're going to have to wait three weeks or two weeks or whatever to get the product, then it's going to have to be significantly discounted to be able to make it make sense versus paying a little bit more and just getting it on Amazon the same day or next day. And so that's the question with the closing of the loopholes. And now they're going to have to pay tariffs and uh taxes and have inspections on more of these products mm -hmm. is that going to be possible for them without losing a ton of money and i believe uh from reading in the past the the return rate of customers on timu is much lower than what it is on amazon